Well, the banners offer the message at opposite ends of the ground. But will it get through to the players in the second half? Steam Brothers get us underway again. And John Fashnew immediately in the action. Feenan looking for an unmarked man. Fashnew. Breaker. Offers an opportunity for a long throw. Jones has gone across. Young has come up Sanchez there on the edge of the 18 yard area and Young has gone all the way forward to the edge of the 6 yard area and gets a bit of a touch Mark Steen will he dare to come outside yes he has Well, one of the more positive moments, even if it didn't work. Johnson. Sanchez feeling wise. Sanchez and Cork Foster the back made free kick is Luton's way than he was expecting. Breaker. Mark Steen with the flick. Halford! <laughs> Goal number 21 of the season. And it brings tremendous celebration. Mark Steen with the flick, it didn't land too kindly for Harford, but he improvised, and within two minutes of the restart, Luton have the lead. Opportunities, but he certainly took that one which was not easy the way it landed with some aplomb after the flick from Mark Steen <laughs> Brian Steen well that's well done but just couldn't get the cross in, he's got a corner. Put away by Thorne. Out by Scales, back by Wilson. Very well struck, and uh, Dave Besant did well to be all in line. Came through quite a crowd, but his positioning proved to be 100%. <laughs> Came off the corner post for a throw. was going 
going to play in the 83 Cup final against Brighton, but Ron Atkinson didn't pick him for Manchester United. Is he now going to get a chance to play there? Fashion, oh, Cork didn't make it. It was Breaker who got there first. Really, he did well. Cork on the near post, Thorne further over. Young coming in, so is Fashionu, and Dibble drops it, and the penalty, it's quite right. Dibble certainly held the legs of Terry Gibson, absolutely no doubt about it. Mr Hackett, who was on the other side of the area, pointed, pointed immediately to the spot. And Andy Dibble has to add to his heroics. So John Fashionu with the chance for his 21st goal of the season to make it 1-1. And he takes it in such a simple fashion. All the applause is now at the other end of the ground. And the hero of the first half now knows what it's like to be on the other side of the coin. 55 minutes gone, and we're back to all square, and the two centre-forwards have each reached a total of 21 goals in the season. One by Young. Sanchez. Since we're seeing more and more of the ball, Sanchez, this is fashionable, free kick. Uh, a party conference around the penalty spot. Nobody pulling wide at all. Now Cork starts to run. And it needed Donachy to cover him. Wise, good check out, good turn. Cork, Fashionu. Court was a crucial factor in all that. He started it. Donachy endeavoured to block him all the way, but in the end, it was Fashionu's header that went wide. Half it. Steen. Bales nicked it off him. And Wimbledon are to make. A substitution. Almost first player, Terry Gibson, comes off. And the former West Bromwich Albion, several others, including Real Madrid player Laurie Cunningham, comes on. Well, this could be very interesting. were concerned. Bobby Gold there to join in the congratulations, but probably trying to tell his players to calm down. This is not a time to let the fact that you're in the lead go to your head, and he knows that. Corks cross, knocked in with two feet, in fact, I think, by Dennis Wise. got it in them to come back. Mark Steen. Fouled by Vinnie Jones. Dennis Wise's ninth goal of the season. He's made his hair stand on end. Turned away by Thorne.
Thorne again wins it. Wilson. And Luton. Ray Harper makes his substitution. Off comes Ashley Grimes. And he's replaced by Kingsley Black. It's Ray Harper who's having to chew a bit harder. Jones, Costa covering. Fashionu, not a judge to have used his arm. Four minutes remaining. seen such anguish on the face of winners but it's not all over yet the expressions will change markedly in a few moments Black gangsters come on and trying to play football the way that Luton like to play it which I haven't been able to do very often this afternoon here's Breaker And a long pass finds Harford offside. Oh, the agony of the closing seconds. What a fairy tale. Wimbledon are at Wembley. Dennis Wise, the scorer of the winning goal, is ecstatic. So is the chairman and manager of the club who only five years ago came out of the fourth division, only 11 years ago joined the Football League, replacing Workington Town. It's a magic moment for them. But there are always two sides of the story. And look at that for a face of desperation, the Luton manager, Ray Harford. The door has been shut in his face on this route to Wembley. Terry Gibson doesn't mind that he was replaced because he will get a chance, like the rest of them, to walk out on the hallowed turf, which a few years ago seemed absolutely miles away from Wimbledon. Wimbledon the victors, 2-1. Well, understandable excitement considering the extent of the achievement of Wimbledon, Don Howe and Bobby Gould who I can remember signing as a 16-year-old for Coventry City way back in 1961. Well, he's lost none of his determination. Looking ahead to the big day, the really big day, how do you prepare for that? I experienced that in 1974-75 with West Ham, and it is the greatest build-up of any cup competition you could ever wish for. From now on in, it is the one thing only. It would be very difficult for Don Howe and myself to make sure that they get their feet back on the ground for the league matches, but we will endeavour to do so. But we will enjoy it. We will enjoy every moment of it, like we have so far at Wimbledon. Don Howe and I went there. We both got points to prove. And uh, without his assistance, I don't think I'd have been where I am today. And to Don on public air, I'd just like to say thanks for all your assistance. You've already done well against Liverpool this season, both at Anfield and at Plough Lane. That must give you some confidence. Oh, no doubt about that. We went up to Anfield two weeks ago and we were very disappointed and there was a lot of hullabaloo in the dressing room at the end of the game when we didn't get a result. And they will be aware that they're in for a, a great, great cup tie. And uh, they'll make sure that they'll get plenty of heading in the few weeks before then because they know that we're going to deliver the ball into their half as quickly as possible. And they'll be rather concerned about it. They'll do the Liverpool fa um, fashion of keeping the ball. We're well aware of that. And I'll tell you what, it could be a great cup tie and the underdogs will enjoy the day. We're going to not only enjoy the day, we're going to enjoy every moment now up until May the 14th, but we're not going there to lose, I can tell you that. 